Okay, so for this problem, an insurance company has an obligation to pay the medical medical costs for a claimant. So annual claim costs today are five thousand, and uh, medical inflation expected to be seven percent per year. Okay, so this is a creative way of explaining a present value scenario or like a cost that we have to do to deal with a loan or whatever. So I'm gonna say that five thousand is occurring at time zero. And the medical inflation is expected to be 7% per year. So whenever we're dealing with the inflation, we know that like it, inflation involves like the concept of an increase, right? So, or increase in value, like the num value of money. So we also see that the claimant will receive 20 payments in all. So uh first payment and then calculate the present value using effect zero five percent okay so we know that at time one we would get 5k or like 5,000 times uh 1.07 right and to create this present value equation we would have to discount it back to the comparison date the second scenario is a uh, 5k uh inflation rate again squared this time and then v squared and so on and so forth until we reach that at time 20 it's 5k 1.07 to the 20 uh v to the 20. that's pretty much it so now let's uh Let's uh, use, since we're seeing some geometric increases, we're going to use the uh, first term minus first omitted term present value technique. So the first term is, uh, well, we're going to see here that the first term must be, uh, this one since this would be the first payout correct so we know that five a payment of five thousand is occurring each year so let's substitute five thousand out of this equation and we're going to say that the first term consists of 1.07 v we also see that the first omitted term it's a word to continue at time 21 to be 1.07 to the 21 times v to the 21. Now over that we're going to do 1 minus the common ratio so we know that it also happens to be 1.07 v. Now let's solve the present value. Uh, we know that the effective rent is 5% so Let's see, so 1.07 times 5%, so this would be 1.019, now let's subtract that by 1.07 to the 21, um, Okay, so 1.01. Now let's track that by. One point four eight six two. Okay, now let's solve. So for this chart, it's 1.01904 minus 1.4862 divided by 1 minus 1.01904. Okay, we get 24.53 multiplied by 5,000 and we end up getting 122,678. 
So, in this case, Uh, out of all the answers, we see that it's definitely not A, B, or C. Um, and I just feel like it's closest to D, but certainly I feel like this is a case where we need to be extra careful with the... We, like I said in previous uh, videos, that whenever we're dealing with, like, the geometric series and there's like an increase and all that these types of problems always require not always require but it seems like you always have to list out all numbers to get like more of an accuracy so I know that most of the the layout in these numbers is there's like a seven here and then there is a extra two three two five here so, so let's uh, resolve this again. So, 0, 1, 9, 4, minus 1.4, Okay, divided by 1 minus 1.019047 times 5,000. Which this time I got 122,639. So a little bit smaller than what I originally got, but between choices D and E, we know that the answer is definitely able to be determined. Like, even though the answer that we got isn't exactly 122,600 or even like really close to that, uh, that doesn't mean that the answer cannot be determined because we already have the answer. So we are going to choose D as the answer.